Self-discipline is a very important part of being a spiritual warrior and a student of the martial arts. As a personal trainer, Zahra Sayed combines martial arts and yoga in her holistic approach to wellness and fitness. And she shared her ideas on why she considers movement to be so important. The skyline was unmistakably Josie, but the focused energy in the dojo was far removed from the bustle of the city as Zahra Saeed put her students Up through their knees. paces. Left jab, right jab, left uppercut, right uppercut, knee kick, pull back. Shh, 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 shh. One of my most cherished things about being a Mela presenter is the caliber of people I get to meet. Today, I'm meeting a real-life warrior woman who's changing the fitness game in a huge way. Zahra Sayed's approach is completely original, and I'm here to learn a lesson or two. Here. Four. One, two, three, four. While Zahra guides her students to explore their limits, she can do every aspect of their workout with breaking a sweat or losing her breath. And her calm, even tone helps them to stay centered in the moment. So right palm down, left palm to follow. Thank you, ladies. Have a wonderful day. Looking forward to seeing you at the next lesson. Yay! Zakra, how did you find your purpose in fitness? Fitness is a big word. I don't always use the word fitness, but movement, yes. I feel like the purpose found me. This comes back to just growing up in the dojo. My dad being ninth dan martial artist, he studied for over 50 years, and basically we lived on the top floor of his business as children, so we were on this floor all the time. That has led to inquiries about how to get fit, inquiries about kickboxing, and that allowed me to refine what I do and find my sort of expression through movement. What drew you to martial arts? I think I would have been drawn to any kind of movement. Martial arts was just something that was in my family and was inspired by my dad's passion and love for this particular type of movement. But there came a time in my life where I did have the choice. And when I was standing at that crossroad, I realized that the question that meant the most to me was how do I honor where I come from? And that was what sort of inspired me to think more outside of the box and get creative with the work that I really enjoy. What is your series Waking Up the Warrior Within about? My work has become an extension and a reflection of where I am in my life. We had warrior women running before and there were these eight-week transformation challenges all about losing weight. You know, and I have no desire to do it nor teach it. So Wake Up the Warrior Within was a message to me to reignite that spirit within me, but also to be open enough to allow the spirit to guide me and not to always look at my template of how to do things. Zahra has studied and practiced martial arts for some 25 years. She also loves mobility, locomotion and flexibility training. And in essence, any movement that makes her body feel good. How do you empower women through the work you do? The conversation that we have is about self-love. When you're coming here and you're stepping on your mat and whatever you do, is, it's actually got nothing to do with me. I'm just perhaps a guide. I'm just there to remind you when to breathe and, and just to engage your body a bit deeper and help you with your form and technique. But I can't do the work for you. It's you that shows up for your work every single day and ultimately fueling you for the rest of the day, for the rest of the week, entering every relationship you have and everything you desire to achieve. Oh, Zach, this is exciting. My dad's just arrived. Would you like to meet him? Hey. Zach, meet my dad, Soke Sali Said. My pleasure, Sakia. Nice to meet you. It is so wonderful to meet you too. In your opinion, is it important for a woman to do a martial art form? Yes, I think it's vital that we teach our girls and our boys. I like to teach both because I like to teach the boy to respect the girl and the girl to know that this is what she can do. She can definitely defend herself. Zahra, what lessons have you learned from your father that you still implement in your life today? I think if there's one person that's taught me why passion is important, it would be my dad. So if there's anything that you want to achieve in your life, if you have no passion for it, don't even bother with it. My dad also taught me love, respect and discipline. So love for myself and love for everyone around me and love within the work that I do. Respect for myself, respect everyone around me and respect in the work that I do. And then discipline. And discipline will filter into everything. Zaki was treated to a masterclass presented by two experts demonstrating potentially devastating speed, power and balance, tempered by complete self-control.
You two are dangerous. That was also really beautiful to watch. It's all about control, not knocking and hitting somebody. But Zach, I'm going to teach a class. If you don't mind, excuse me. Thank you very much. Zachary, you are not only a trained Pilates, yoga and karate instructor, you are also a life coach. My journey to life coaching was a personal experience. It was a me reaching a space in my life a few years ago where I needed a bit of extra support. And it was at that point where I met my personal life coach who is still a very proud and strong mentor in my life till this day. And through my time with her, I discovered this very deep personal emotional transformation. And this is kind of the core ingredient to Wake Up The Warrior Within and all our warrior programs. It's the personal development aspect. Training is one thing, eating is one thing, moving is one thing, but where does it stem from inside of you? So you'd have me as your guide, your, your overall body coach, so to speak, but your inner coach is you, ultimately. What fitness advice do you swear by? That you do only what you love. That is what I swear by, and, and find what you love. If anything, explore all mediums of movement. Instead of sitting back being like, that's not for me, that's not for me, I'm never gonna try that. Love what you do, and you will love how to move. What is your message for 16 days of activism for no violence against women and children? We have the power within to change our current life situation. The answers lie within, yet without preparation, you'll always feel stuck. Build your confidence, discover your strength, and learn to manifest the life you dream of. Oh! Zahra is waking up the warrior within so many women. This revolution of self-love does not need to scream or shout, but it is immensely powerful. Zahra knows that there is a warrior in each of us. The question is, are you ready to awaken yours?